up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of That Savage Kitchen. Now, today's episode, we're gonna be making some of that lengua. lengua. Yes, sir. We're gonna be making some lengua. If you don't know what it is, just open your mouth and it's right there, which is tongue in Spanish, bro. I used to take two years of Spanish. Oh, so wow. <laughs> I know a little bit of Spanish. Okay. But hey, we're gonna be making some of that lengua, but just not any lengua. We're gonna be making some beef tongue, some cow tongue, bro. I actually made this before, but I haven't made it in this. We're gonna use an Instapot today. So, if y'all ready for that, make sure y'all stay tuned and view it. So other than that, let's yeah. get yeah. started. Yeah. 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 What's up you guys? I hope y'all are ready to make this tongue, bro. Bro, look how thick it is just sitting there. Give it a smack. And yeah. Bro, I actually cooked one of these before. I cooked it a while back, but the first time I ever made it, I really, I liked it. It was just, I didn't make it as good as I made it here, bro. When I made it right here, it was fire. First time I made it, it was good, but not all that. But here's the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need half an onion, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of some peppercorn, four garlic cloves, one beef bouillon, and one teaspoon of cloves then five bay leaves now we're going to go and get that instapot bro first time i did it i cooked it on the stove but in the instapot it's so much better instapots are fire because i can just put it in leave it in it's just like a crock pot but it cooks faster because of all that pressure but we're gonna add our tongue we're gonna add our onions and we're just gonna add all of our ingredients into the bowl add your salt too you already know bro and this is the best way i think it is i don't know i think is the best way to cook it because if you got stuff to do you can go away don't have to worry about it but you do have to come back because it cooks quick but hey we're gonna add our water and we're gonna fill it above the tongue you really don't have to measure it out all right so we're gonna put the lid on like that and then we're gonna make sure that our vent in the back is sealed we don't want any of our pressure leaving so we're gonna click pressure level and we're gonna set this to 40 minutes on a high pressure you guys and after that we're gonna let it sit for 20 minutes the timer will go up we want to let it sit for 20 minutes because if you take your lid off too early then your meat will get tough so we have to let that pressure slowly reduce and come back to normal pressure you see this man trying to get in the frame we already had this problem in the steak video look this man just walks in the frame and just starts pulling his phone out it is not good look right now but bro it's gonna be fire make sure you keep that broth too because that's gonna be good in almost anything it's a beef broth but hey that thing look dirty i ain't gonna cap that look disgusting but trust me the final product is gonna be fire so we're gonna place it on our board like this and first we gotta take that skin off because we ain't trying to eat that man and i was trying to set it up but it's not gonna set up obviously but hey um, make sure you peel that skin but watch this you see how easy how easily i peeled that skin off bro it should be that tender bro it's really tender Ew, i don't know why i threw it on top but you see how easy it is it should be that easy to peel off man so we're just gonna make sure we clean it up look everywhere for extra skin to peel off take that bay leaf off and now we're gonna cut it in half you guys all right so now i'm gonna cut the bottom part off because it's always gamey i don't like eating that part but yo when i tell you this tongue is so tender and creamy and when i say creamy it's like smooth it's smooth and it's i don't know i always hear creamy but that's how that's how i feel i feel like it's creamy but it is very good it's super tender and it's good on tacos so that's what we're doing today so we're gonna dice up our meat like this make sure you get everything diced up and we're gonna make them into cubes so we're gonna cube them up first like this and then we're gonna just rock chop it just go crazy on the cutting board like this just rough chops and everything so i didn't have any butter so i used some bacon fat bro your boy's a genius some bacon fat on some beef really but hey we're gonna add that to our pan let that sizzle add all of your meat and let that sizzle my guy it's gonna be fire dude you're gonna get some of that bacon flavor and that pork tongue not tongue flavor but you're gonna get that pork flavor trust me 
bro look at this we're gonna make sure it gets brown make sure it gets some brown edges some crisp to it and some flavor but hey while we got this working we got some corn tortillas that we put in some bacon fat bro on that savage kitchen we do not play around i mean i do not play around because i'm a solo type of boy so we doing all this by ourselves you already know man only a one man team but hey after you get your tortilla crispy, we're going to place it down like that. Add some of your lengua. lengua. You already know, bro. That joint a little fire to me, man. Then we're going to add some cilantro on top. And then we're going to add some onions, bro. It's that simple. And then I made some salsa verde, bro. So we're going to add some of our salsa verde on there. Or you can add whatever you want on there. It's super simple. This is a super simple recipe, but it's also delicious. I love making tacos and burgers and pizzas. It's just fire, just like this recipe. So make sure you give it a taste. And bro, it is so tender, so creamy, and it's so simple. It's just a delicious like lunch meal that you can make for anyone. But hey, thank you guys for checking this out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I sure did. I love making this just tacos and period. And one day I might open a, a taco truck. You all know. But hey, other than that, I'm out.